they've been stopping them by the hundreds. Every weekend, in the dead of night, the streets come alive north of Toronto. That's when the muscle cars take to the road. But police are starting to apply a little muscle themselves, and their campaign may finally put the brakes on the road warriors. Sheila Manise has our story tonight in close-up. It's the speed, it's the burn, it's the fire in the driver. For many, drag racing is a rush, a non-chemical addiction. The payout, a 10 or 12 second quarter mile high. It's just a thrill, it's just like going on a roller coaster. That is an ego thing, you like, you like the girls to look, you like to have the loud car, you know, you like to draw a lot of attention. It may sound like the world is my locker room kind of talk. More notches on the male seatbelt. Go for the greater horsepower. Go for the higher speed. Become an eight-second comet on rubber and steel. But enthusiasts say it's about drive, competition, and pride. And as long as it's legal, no one objects. There are four legal drag strips in Ontario. The rest are illegal. See the line marks right there? And they're everywhere. Racers seize industrial roads, even sections of the highway. The performances are called yeah, street illegals. There was about 150 to 200 kids watching. They were standing on the rooftop. It was like a grandstand. For the first time, four police services have joined together to end street illegals. Peel, Toronto, the OPP, and York will be on the roads every summer weekend. It's about 2 a.m. north of Steele's. Young men and a few women meet in fast food malls waiting for a race. In the past month, there have been only two, a drastic reduction from previous years. The visible presence of police is the reason why. Police aren't waiting for illegal races to take place. They're stopping cars, lifting up hoods, and ticketing drivers who've made illegal changes so their cars can go faster. The tickets carry heavy fines and a message to stay off the roads. If there were not people watching the race, as far as we're concerned, there's a good chance that the race would never take place. Therefore, if we see cars in the immediate area at 3 o'clock in the morning and they happen to be lost looking for a race, mind you, we will definitely have strict enforcement on that vehicle. Yeah, done for. Sergeant Dale Smewing is a traffic officer from Peel. To him, this detail is about prevention. He fines drivers for traffic, safety, and environmental infractions. He says there's a fine line between a spectator and an illegal racer. Blue is illegal. You only have to have white or white. I spoke to someone. Yeah. And they said there's no problem with blue lights. Well, like, you should speak to the source. Stores? You should speak to why the police. It's like tinted, tinted windows. They're totally illegal. Yeah. You have to drive on the highway with catalytic converters. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's the way the car came. Cars are not manufactured with an insecure battery. They're either... So how come you bypassed your pump, your belt? Police pump? find drivers who add and subtract parts under the hood, parts that enhance the car's performance, but this kind of math pollutes the air and police say endangers lives. Just ask the owner of this 1931 Ford Coupe. My cousin died because of racing. He wasn't racing, he was just like a bystander like everybody else driving on the street and there's two other stupid people that are racing and he got killed. We're concerned that there's going to be spectators and or drivers killed and we want to stop that from happening. So while young men argue that Saturday night in Woodbridge is all about a parade of Mustangs and Camaros, a catwalk of steel beauties, police argue this exercise is all about safety. And if the threat of a heavy fine is the way to safety, that's the way they'll go. It's 3 a.m. Someone has called 911 about a drag race in Peel. Officers converge and find 40 cars lined up waiting for another race. No, get, get the camera get the out of here, out of here, man. Hey, what, what is this guy doing? 
Excuse me, officer. You're doing a job. So we're just here to watch. So you're all together looking for a race? Well, not. Well, we don't know everybody here. We don't, we don't know them. everybody here. We're just. So how does it work? Oh, I want to be on. How's it work? Yeah. Everybody meets up, and then uh, whoever wants a race, they race. You know what I mean? Do I race? No, I look what car I drive. Well, I you drive. race. No, I don't race. You race. No, I don't. I race. race. Well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> What's your purpose for being back here tonight? Just hanging around. Just hanging around. Well, let's see how honest of a person you are to begin with. What's your purpose for being back here tonight? Okay, we're watching races. Okay, I appreciate that. I assume you weren't racing? No. Take your documents and you make sure you don't come back and go anywhere near where the people are racing. Okay? Yep. The ticketing begins. Not nearly. <laughs> Nowhere near legal. Well, this is kind of nerf filter. That's really what I got right now. And that's it. Kind of nerf filter. Why are we out here? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? You don't want to stay? What are you doing here? Just driving around. Just driving around yeah. at 2 in the morning? Why not? Aren't most people sleeping then? Yes. Yeah, old people are sleeping. Old people? Yes. Yeah. A check of the cars reveals many infractions and some familiar faces. Well, when I stopped him about two hours ago in Vaughan, he said he was going home. From where? Back to Toronto. He lives in Toronto. Yeah. He's here for the races, But he's over eh? here in Brampton watching the races. For one unlucky driver, lightning strikes twice. Bald tires, blue headlights, you name it. He was warned earlier to go home and fix his car. Sticking around becomes costly. It wasn't worth coming to the races. Yeah, you just come here to have some fun. It looks like they're going to have nothing better to do. No, no. Did you see a race tonight? No, I don't no, see no nothing. Racing. came here for no. nothing. So you missed a race and you got all these fines to pay? Yeah. yeah. Six. How much money? I know, about $500. Legally, Most of these drivers are polite. None has been drinking. They simply want to race or watch a race. If the government were to put a, uh, a drag strip, okay, even if it was just they paid a, str a street, you know what I mean, had a couple cops there, had an ambulance there, you know what I mean, and they charge people even five bucks to come in, ten bucks to race all night, you know how many people, you know how much money they would make? What about Cayuga? Cayuga's yeah. Cayuga. far, far. They would much rather go somewhere that's legal, safe, uh, nice seats, you know, you got a hot dog stand or whatever. It'd be a great opportunity for somebody um, with the right incentive to go and open up a drag strip up this area. It's Friday night at the Cayuga Park near Hamilton. It's a street legal. Thank you very much. Have a good night. And some drivers have come from Toronto to race. Pickering. Wait, Pickering? Yeah, West Hill. How long did it take you to get down here tonight? Uh, a couple of hours with the traffic. Time trialing? I know we're running street? super street. Street? Super street? Yeah. Okay. Everything that's illegal on the street is legal here beyond the blast of nitrous oxide and stinging exhaust fumes is the thrill of clocking an eight or ten second ride at a street legal the only flashing lights come from what's called the christmas tree the flagman is not a police officer and his partner isn't waiting at the finish line with a ticket and there's an ambulance standing by, just in case. At Cayuga, we have a licensed facility with emergency vehicles, and we offer them the ability to race and basically do what they're doing on the street, but in an illegal environment. How's your height and uh, go about and do it? How many tickets do we just get? Just one. I'm yeah. cautioning you for everything else. Almost a thousand drivers have been stopped in the past five weekends. Half got tickets. For many of these racing fans, the price of admission to watch a street illegal has become just too high. Sheila Manise, CBC News, Brampton.